gang, gang. It's Troll Bot that EXE. The guy who hits the grays, the guy who hits the skibbities, and welcome back to Troll Bot Studios. Welcome to part three of the history of Metal Heroes. Today, we will be going over the Rescue Police Saga, aka Wind Spectre, Soul Brain, and XC Draft. Fun fact, these three series that we'll be talking about today are the second set of Metal Hero series that are actually connected in their own universe after the space shares from the early 80s. Fitting since this Rescue Police Saga covers the first half of the early 90s of the Metal Hero series. So let's go to that good old recap. Yee! Last time on the History of Metal Heroes, I went over Superhuman Machine Metalder, World Ninja War Jiraiya, and Mobile Cop Jibin. With the coverage of these three series, I effectively covered all Metal Hero material in the 1980s. Fun fact about Jiraiya, its international title is Ninja Olympiad, most likely because of the 1988 Seoul Olympics that aired during Jiraiya's run. Oh, and I didn't get to talk about the movies. So turns out, the first Metal Hero movie wasn't for Gavin, but for Shider, as Shider got two movies. The first of which being simply titled, Space Sheriff Shider, The Movie. While the second one was titled, Space Sheriff Shider, Pursuit, The Strange Kidnappers. After that, two other series will get their own movies, those two series being, Metalder and Jibin, with Metalder's movie simply being titled Superhuman Machine Metalder the Movie. While Jibin's movie was titled Mobile Cop Jibin, Great Explosion at the Monster Factory of Fear. Okay, now we got that covered. Let's get to the actual video. Inspector is the ninth installment in the Metal Hero series, running from February 4th, 1990 to January 13th, 1991, and was police based due to Jibin's popularity. Unlike Jibin and most other popular tokusatsu programs, Sans Ultraman, Wind Spectre did not have an evil organization for the heroes to fight. The series took focus on saving lives instead of just defeating the Ops, due to the public becoming more sensitive to violence on TV. To be more specific, the thing that defined this series' direction was a comment around common Rider's monsters, calling them grotesque. Even though two years later, Toei would respond with Shin Kamen Rider Prologue. As a result, Many of the heroes' equipment were based around the idea of saving lives, mostly since there were some weapons like the Max Caliber. The show was also made to be more realistic. Well, as realistic as a Metal Hero series can get. This is the first series to have multiple heroes, not counting Spielban. This would stick throughout the rest of the franchise. The designs of the main trio of heroes shared many similarities with Jibin. Wind Spectre was a lot more successful with average ratings of 12.8%. These high ratings were not seen since the Space Sheriff trilogy. In fact, average ratings were even higher than Shider's. This success prompted Toei to do a sequel to Wind Spectre which would become Super Rescue Soul Brain, the 10th installment in the Metal Hero series, and the second installment in the Rescue Police Saga. Shunsuke Masaki, played by Toku veteran Hiroshi Miyuchi, is the commander of Wind Spectre, and he returns in Soul Brain. The Wind Spectre team themselves also make guest appearances in the middle of the show. Soul Brain also introduces the use of computer graphics to the Metal Hero franchise, and it also focuses on the backgrounds of various criminals, 
some of the episodes even have tragic endings, and the finale is not exactly happy. The show ran from 1991 to 1992, bringing an average ratings of 12.2% for Tellway. These ratings are only slightly lower than Windspector. Still, producers were willing to continue the Rescue Police saga one series more with Special Rescue Ixie Draft. The 11th series in the Metal Hero franchise and the third and final installment in the Rescue Police saga. In terms of setting, it follows basic formula of the previous two series, with many unique characteristics. The series even had no references to the prior two series until the final episodes. Unlike Soul Brain, Exedraft was a lot more fantastical with the appearance of a space investigator in the middle of the series, and even a battle between God and the Devil in the later portion. Because the character designs were delayed, the photography did not meet the deadline set by magazines, so only illustrations were released. Also, there were even disputes about who actually did the character designs. XC Draft ran from 1992 to 1993, closing out the Rescue Police saga with average ratings of 9.8%, a considerable drop from previous ratings. Taking into account the sudden drop, Toei decided to end the Rescue Police saga and continue with something new, which we'll talk about next time. Now I will talk about the Super Sentai series that aired alongside the Rescue Police saga. Earth Sentai 5 Man aired alongside Windspector, Chojin Sentai Jet Man aired alongside Soul Brain, and Kyoryu Sentai's U Ranger aired alongside Exceed Draft. And technically, Shin Kamen Rider Prologue, as we talked about earlier, but that does not count since it's only a direct to video movie. Also, as you may already know, Saban selected U Ranger to be adapted into the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, aka when Super Sentai became truly popular in the US, despite some of the series airing in Hawaii. Speaking of Power Rangers, next time I will be talking about Jan Person. Blue SWAT, and Power Rangers sister series, VR Troopers. The part I bet a lot of you have been waiting on. So, in the meantime, later fools.